Okay, so this video is in response to a question I had on the forum asking to clarify why we uh, move the Reynolds stresses uh, from the point they are derived on the right on the left hand side over to the right hand side and then why do they act to um, increase the diffusion term. So recall then if you start off with your instantaneous Navier-Stokes equations and you make the substitution of instantaneous uh, is equal to the mean plus the fluctuating into your Navier-Stokes equations and then you average then most of the terms are straightforward um, substitutions the one that isn't of course is the one with the convection because there you have nonlinear terms and you get this extra term here which is a correlation so at this point it's worth looking at this term in a bit more detail uh, and noting that, um, well, if you have the term duiuj over dxi, then using the product rule, this becomes ui times duj dxi plus uj dui dxi. And the reason that's important is because this term here is zero through continuity, remember from continuity that ui dxi is equal to zero, and so then you have this term ui times duj dxi, and this is the term we have here, and you can see that these two are equivalent, which is why uh, we, we can make that substitution as we do in, on the end of that slide. Now, the other point to remember is that we move this term over to the right-hand side because it acts in the same way as other terms on the right-hand side, i.e. it's diffusive. And we can further simplify the last two terms as follows. So d by dxi of this term minus d by dxi of the Reynolds stress. And then you see that you have um, a diffusion contribution from the molecular stress and the turbulent stress. And then you can take this a step further by realizing that if you use an eddy viscosity model to compute or approximate the Reynolds stresses, as we have here, this is a slightly simplified version, you can see that um, the Reynolds turbulent stress, uh, ui uj, is approximated using the eddy viscosity model as 2 times nu t du dx minus a contribution uh, from the normal stresses, uh, 2 thirds k. And then so then you can further simplify this by substitution of the eddy viscosity model um, into the definition for the turbulence Reynolds stresses and then um, gathering up the terms and simplifying and so you can see that the uh, diffusion term then becomes d by dxi of nu plus nu t where nu t is the turbulent eddy viscosity and nu is the laminar viscosity times by duj dxi and then the impact of this is to increase the diffusion, which is one of the primary um, characteristics of turbulence.